I have been sleeping on modded moons. I didn't realize how insanely well made some of these are until I downloaded Wesley's moons. This pack adds 13 new moons to the game and all of them are so well detailed with very unique themes, I thought it would be a disservice to only review them all in one video. So I wanted to dedicate some videos to what I'm calling Shirts Moon Reviews. I'll be grading all moons on a scale of 0 to 5 shirts. Please let me know if you guys enjoy this style, or if you'd rather see me do a 16 hours format on them instead, I'm open to either. Anyways, let's begin with Asteroid 13. Also sub or I won't be going to your birthday party. Very cool town so far. Oh my god. It's so dark. What? Okay. So, before we get started, if you... Okay, there's a giant. Okay. Before we get started, if you want to play this moon by yourself, go ahead and stop the video and just go download. Just go, go play it yourself. But, if you want to know if it's worth it... Did I just hear Coilhead? If you want to know if it's worth it, we're going to check it out right now. Uh, I'm just kind of messing around with brightness. So this is what the whole... Jesus Christ. Okay, this place is huge. This is what the whole moon looks like. There are multiple fire exits with... Oh yeah, there's ambient coil head sounds. There's a coil head in the ground there. There's a coil head here. And then I saw... There's a giant one right here, so maybe this is the uh, the lore of the foil head or something they're trying to make. Just funny. So, from the ship, if you go... If you just follow the paths... Oh, there is a coil head outside, actually. Okay. If you follow the paths, you'll get to the main entrance here. If you follow the left... Sorry, the... It's kind of hard to tell. Let's just go up in an aerial. So we have... What looks like three fire exits, no, 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 four fire exits, and one main entrance, and what is this? What is this? Okay, hold on. I do not know what that is. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and there is an army of coil heads here, worshipping their god that you can't even see. Okay, so let's go down and see the complexity of this moon. Okay, it's really dark for some reason. Is it supposed to be this dark? Huh. Okay, it might be that dark. Okay, let me grab my, my stuff. Let's try to make it to the front exit. Oh my god, they really screw with you. Okay, there was a coil head over here. I can die, by the way. Those coil head sounds are gonna get me killed, though. Okay, we made it to the main entrance. It is actually just that dark in here. But there's like red particles. There's new sounds. Oh my god, this place is so creepy. We got a stun baton, which does not work. There's a lot of new items too that every Wesley's Moon adds. They add their own custom items. So that's a stun baton. We got document. I guess we're gonna play this out. Just look at all the items. We got blue folder. So it kind of seems like the, the theme of this is a a lab of some sort, a hidden hidden moon base lab or an asteroid lab. A lot of ambient sounds and zero visibility. But we're just going to get into the thick of it. And then we're going to check out that button afterwards and see how it works. 
there's secrets on I've played a few Wesley's maps. Wait, what? Oh, okay. I, I forgot to tell you guys. I had to re-download um Lethal Company. So um I I'm back to intern now. And uh it's giving me tips as if I'm very if I, as if I'm new to the game. Which is really weird, but it's a new computer, so. Okay, we got one fire exit here. A red folder. Yeah, a lot of folders and stuff. So is that a stapler? <laughs> we just got a lot of office supplies. But maybe we're uh, collecting this information to sell for to the company. Maybe the company could use this information. Not a whole lot spawning right now either, to be honest. Unless the map is just huge. We could check too, we can... Here, let's... let's cheat. We're gonna see how big the map is. Dude, I can't see. I'm on max brightness too, and it's just... you just can't see. <laughs> okay. I'm expecting to run into a coil head any second now. But I think this... Oh, something did spawn. Loot bug, maybe? I don't know, but we're gonna run out of battery in the flashlight now. Let's go outside. See, it's five and not much has spawned. Unless it's all outside. Because I think, I think these mod packs do use like lethal escape, like I said. But yeah, not many enemies. There was some loot, but all of it was worth like 20. But, Jesus. Yeah, certainly the uh, ambient sounds are rough. Okay, that's just a normal coil. Well, but we're at the ship. Ah, uh, yeah, the sounds. He's gone, okay. Alright, well we made it back to the ship. Let's see. Am I on max brightness? Now this... This is max, okay. I'm gonna go max brightness on my free cam. There, I was pressing the wrong button. Oh my god, I'm sorry. I just flashed back, you guys. Okay. Here we go, we can kind of see how big the map is from here. This is a little scuffed, but it is fairly complex. There, are, it actually isn't, it's not too bad. But there's like no enemies inside the buildings, I'm looking. Okay, there's one coil head. But I think this is more of a a starter moon, to be honest. I think the whole gimmick is that it's just coil heads with a pretty cool theme. Sorry, Jesus Christ. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, let's see. I want to see what these buttons do. We're gonna land. We're gonna leave and then land again. And 866 was total on this moon. Alright, let's land again and let's go see what those buttons do. We might need like items or something. There's that terminal. Oh yeah, it is a hazard level B, I forgot to mention. <laughs> oh! Oh, it turns on the lights! For the inside, too. Kinda. It makes the inside... Oh no, it just turns on that. Okay. What do these other buttons do? I don't know. Okay, so that turns on the lights for everything, which is awesome, actually. Okay, let's see if the inside is, like, viewable now. Still, same old, same old. All right.
Now let's get to grading this moon. It has a lot of character. I love the coil head theme. I appreciate that you can turn on all the lights from the console. That's super cool. But I do wish the interior was a little bit better. The value of scrap is good for the complexity and there's not too many enemies that spawn. I think most of the challenge comes from being outside, watching a coil head, and then hearing the fake coil head behind you. I also wasn't a huge fan of the interior being completely dark, but it was a unique take at the very least. The modded items this moon adds as well are somewhat interesting, but I know more moons in this pack adds so much more. Overall, in comparison to the other moons I've played, I'd give this a 2.5 out of 5. Most of the points going into the theme and the aesthetic, but there's not many enemies to engage with inside. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. I'm open for discussion as always, but remember, I don't make maps, so in comparison to anything I could ever do, this is a 100 out of 5. Also, my grading scale for future reference, a 2.5 is average. Anything below a 2.5 is below average. I'm only really grading this a 2.5 in comparison to the other maps in this pack because i've seen some insane stuff that i could see myself going back to for the long run but yeah that's it thanks